How to update inside BIOS in UEFI mode on DFI products. This video shows how to update the BIOS on DFI products. When should you update the BIOS? Here are some situations where you need to update the BIOS. First, you're experiencing some malfunctions on your device. The update will resolve these issues and increase system reliability. Second, after upgrading your computer with a newer CPU that is pin-to-pin -pin compatible with your LGA socket, you should update the BIOS. Please always back up your data before updating the BIOS to prevent data loss. And if you have made previous changes in the BIOS menu, please take note of the settings as your settings will be lost after the update. First, the BIOS update requires you to check the current BIOS version of your device. Second, Obtain the latest BIOS file from our technical support. Third, prepare a bootable UEFI USB drive. Verify the current BIOS version before you contact our technical support. First, when the system starts, repeatedly press the delete key to enter the BIOS setup utility. Second, from the main tab, the screen shows the project name or model name and the BIOS version or boot date and time. You will need this information when making a request to technical support or when you encounter any problem during the process. Obtain the latest BIOS file and the firmware update utility. Please note that you will need to contact our technical support for the latest BIOS file and it may take several days. First, open your browser to go to the DFI website and select Contact Us Technical Support. Second, Fill in the required information including your name, email, your company name, country, and select the product name. In the subject field, specify that you are requesting the latest version of the BIOS. In the description field, write the current BIOS version or build date and time and describe the issue you are experiencing. Submit a support request. Prepare a bootable UEFI USB drive. You may obtain the EFI boot files from our technical support. First, create the EFI boot directory on the FAT32 format USB drive. Second, download the EFI boot files and save these three files in the above directory of the USB drive. Save the BIOS update utility and BIOS file in the above directory as well. Set the boot option to boot your device from UEFI shell. First, using the arrow keys, select boot, go down the list to select boot type, and press Enter to display options. Then select UEFI boot type. Second, exit the setup utility by going to the Exit tab. Select Exit Saving Changes. Select Yes, then press Enter to save your changes and exit the setup utility. Update the inside BIOS. Now we start updating the BIOS on the device. Don't turn the computer off while the update is in progress. Interrupting the process will damage the board. Insert the USB drive into the system that requires the BIOS update. Restart the system. The system will boot to a shell prompt. Find the device number for the removable hard disk. Type device number, then press Enter. Type ls to list all files in this directory. Find the name of the BIOS file. Type the command h2offt-sx64.efi BIOS file name hyphen BIOS hyphen all at the prompt then press enter. Please note that there are spaces between each command options. The utility verifies the BIOS file and starts updating the BIOS. The system will reboot after the BIOS update is complete. Verify the result. We'll check if the BIOS version has been updated successfully. Enter the BIOS setup utility as the system boots. Check the BIOS version or boot date. It should be later than the one before the update. Contact us at inquiry at if you have any questions.